if you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before, I am Freya. This is Budgie Budgets and today is Sunday. So um, today we're going to start with a bit of happy mail and then we will do our normal weekly check-in, budget with me. Uh, we'll do our roundup challenge. I don't have anything to unstuff because I unstuffed it all before I did end of month totals yesterday. So um, there's not much in the way of that sort of thing, but Let's get started with some happy mail. Now, um, <clears throat> this is really special happy mail. This came to me from uh, Tammy at Aussie Planner Cash Dreams as a gift. Uh, and I did already open it. Sorry, you guys, I didn't wait. Mostly because I've been waiting to go and collect this for the longest time. So Tammy, beautiful Tammy sent this to me as a gift. Um, as a surprise and she used my return address um, from a parcel that I had sent to her um, but I had been <laughs> before I bought my own PO box I had been sneaky using my dad's PO box and my dad lives quite a while away from me um, when he's down here um, so my, my dad lives half the time in a different state and half the time down here so I hadn't been I was always just sitting waiting for collection at the PO box and my brother was going to get it for me but then he only went on a Sunday didn't realize the post office itself would be shut so he couldn't go in and collect the parcel um so we went on a bit of an adventure the other day my kids I gave my kids a day off school and we drove down to my dad's and we got some delicious ice cream because there's an ice cream place down there that is just oh they make the best they make like um, white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake ice cream and Snickers ice cream like just like any flavor you can imagine they have it's so good anyway so we went and did that and I finally got to collect my parcel that's been sitting there for weeks and weeks waiting for me um so she's written a little note that says dear Freya thank you for all my beautiful envelopes I hope you have some fun with this happy mail love Tammy um Tammy has been such an incredible supporter of my business. She has ordered, I don't, I should have counted up. I should have counted up how many envelopes I've made for Tammy before I started filming. And she has another big order with me currently. Um, and I am, so I'm just really, I'm just really, really grateful. Um, and you didn't have to do this. It was so, it's so, so lovely of you. Um, I like when I picked up the parcel, I was like, oh my goodness, it's so heavy. There's so much in here. Um, so she sent me some cute little stickers, which I just love. And there's a very, very cool, so cute little pen. And then she sent me, you guys, look at this. Oh my goodness. So many challenges. So these are going to be awesome for mini Mondays because they all save around kind of 40, 47, um, so they're great because they're all different little amounts and they've got all different, like mostly Disney related, but some other pictures as well. Oh, look at that elephant. It's so pretty. Um, I am sorry if it's a little bit glary. I've got the lights on because it's horrible here at the moment. The weather is horrible. It's all windy and rainy and cold. Um, we had that little, don't mind that person. Um, we had that little glimpse of spring and then it just disappeared. Um, so there's those ones and there's also... Sorry, I'm struggling with where to put things. Um, also these little fun ones. So time to celebrate. Let's go cruising. Fairyland. This is so cute. I love this. Um, so I'll have to work out how much some of these save. Strawberry shortcake. I love strawberry shortcakes. Um, and Alice in Wonderland. So cool. So, so cool. Uh, and then these ones. So there's Mickey and the gang play Monopoly. Uh, follow the snow globes to Mickey's presents. Happy anniversary, just us two. And luck of the draw. I don't know about this one, Tammy. This one seems pretty, this one seems pretty full on. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're so cool. So thank you so, so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. I, th I think Tammy has her own Etsy store. Um, and she definitely has a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel is Aussie Planner Cash Dreams. Um, so go on over and check her out. I'm just going to put this down. Just give me a sec. I'm rapidly running out of space. So that was my first happy mail. Um, my next happy mail is from Steph's on a Budget. Now this one was just a digital download that I got. I've already written on them how much I want them to save um, because I'll be using these for mini Mondays. It was this one. It was this one I saw on her channel on my way to stir the pot. And I was just like, oh, I can see that. It's so funny. It's so, it just, it's just me. Um, and it came in a set of three. So it's also got Spill the Tea and All I Need is Pizza and Horror Movies, which is kind of funny. 
because at the moment my husband's got me watching The Walking Dead, which I've never watched before, but he has watched the early seasons previously. Um, so great to rewatch it with him, um, which is a bit of horror. I'm not usually big into horror, but um, yeah, I felt like, um, yeah, I may as well. So um, my last bit of happy mail, you guys all know, you guys all know who this is. Um, this is from Lily at Bos Bos Girl Budgets. So cool. So I just got some of her scratch offs because they're so cute. I haven't opened them yet, you guys. I've been waiting. Um, look at me go, because normally I can't. I normally I can't help myself. <laughs> but I did. Um, so I got the little collection of these three. So one's a save 75, one's a save 100, one's a save 150. So I thought these would be good for my debt binder to kind of accompany um, when I've got some smaller ones in there as well. So then these can will kind of boost the value of the binder a little bit. I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's those ones. And then I got these ones, which I just loved as well. If I can get them open. Sorry if that's noisy. Um, so there, I think they're all hundreds. Yeah, they're all $100 scratch-offs. So cool. I love the little skulls. I like clearly is... Um, my vibe <laughs> skulls and flowers awesome and then this was her little i did open this already all right you guys i'm you know i'm only human okay <laughs> you are only human so this is her little oops come out this is her little thank you thing so it comes with a little um keep the sunny side up so cute and little sticker and this is her zodiac challenge so that's her freebies that she's giving out each month it's a zodiac challenge and i love this and it's not um it's a good amount because they're all five dollars so it's not outrageous uh which i thought was very cool so that is all of those then the other thing that we're going to do quickly right now before i get too into this video is color in a flower because you guys i forgot to do this last month and i forgot to do it yesterday but we have paid off enough debt to color in a whole another flower so i'm not going to finish that one because it was one whole flower plus three petals so i'm just going to leave those ones there and color in this one but like how cool is that pretty thrilled with that not going to lie I can't believe I forgot it. I took it out of the binder on purpose, knowing that otherwise I would forget it and then forgot it anyway, even though it was right in front of my face, <laughs> sitting there staring at me. That's just typical, you guys. So that is now done. Caught up for both last month and this month. So we can pop it back in here in its little home. Cutie cute. Okay. And then let's do our roundup challenge because we don't have anything to unstuff after yesterday. So in our roundup this week, we had $3.69. So I will fill this out and speed it up for you. Beautiful. Oops, that doesn't go in there. That goes in here. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. All right, so now that those bits are done, let's get into our weekly check-in. I hope you guys are all having a very nice weekend. We are still dealing with a not very well little possum. Let me just zoom in a tiny bit. Um, so we've actually decided, <laughs> we've actually decided that we're going to postpone Father's Day to next weekend. Um, just cause we had planned to go out for the day and she's really not going to be well enough to do that. Um, she still woke up in the middle of last night, uh, in pain and with a bit of a fever. So poor little possum. Um, she was supposed to have a bath, a bath day. She was supposed to have a, a birthday party today, but she's, um, obviously not going to that. So that's a little bit sad. Okay, you guys, so groceries, we had a negative $2.95 at the end of last week. We put in $7.90. We've spent $3.01. So we have $193 left. Is that going to be enough to get us all the way through? Probably not, but hopefully we'll be close. Hopefully we're closing that 
gap a little bit. Um, that is the hope. Okay, uh, takeaway, $10 in the negative last week. Um, we added 65, we spent 55, we added zero. We probably, we probably actually spent a tiny bit more than that and I've just rounded other categories. Like I rounded um, uh, petrol down a little bit and what else? No, it wasn't petrol. It was something else, I can't remember. Um, and I took that cash out from Family Fund to cover the overspending from lunch as well. Um, so, petrol we had 20. Uh, we had added nothing, but we've spent 80. Um, so we are in the negative 60, but we'll be adding to that today. Chemist, we had nothing, we added 10, we've spent 30. So we're in the negative 20 for that as well. And we'll cover that today. Um, that was just literally pain relief. I had to go and buy more um, pain relief and cold and flu meds. So um, yeah, mostly just for my my little one because uh, she's pretty much on round the clock Panadol and Nurofen um, until her ears clear up. So she's, she actually, she wound up with, I don't know if I said that yesterday already, she's wound up with double perforated eardrums um, and she is very allergic to almost all antibiotics. So there is one kind of antibiotics that she can take and she still reacts to it, but it's not a big reaction. Um, so if we can keep her off antibiotics, it's better because the more you take them when, when you have an allergy to it, the more you take them, the worse the allergy gets. So we kind of want to keep that one that kind of doesn't affect her too badly in case we need it for something really, really dire. So I'm hoping that her ears will clear up on their own. I do have a script just in case they don't. Um, but yeah, we just, we'll just have to wait and see. It's definitely my preference for her not to be on them if we can avoid it at all. Okay, so income for this week is it's our little week this week. So we've got 1,215 in total. Um, I'm just gonna throw rent in here, you guys, I've decided. <laughs> um, so of that, we're putting 515 towards our rent this week. You will notice rent is probably the one thing that I'm not, it's not necessarily a consistent amount that I put towards it each week. In fact, it's definitely not a consistent amount. Sometimes from month to month, it's consistent. Like paycheck one, I'll give it this much, paycheck two, this much. But even then, it does tend to change a little bit just depending on what other expenses I want to cover for that week. So rent is the thing that kind of flexes the most in terms of um, when I add to it as a category, I suppose. Um, internet, we're allowing $11 too. So... Last week, we put 89 in there for this coming month's bill. However, we have changed internet providers. So we always used to be with Telstra. We changed to Dodo because they were cheaper and the service was similar, like the speeds and stuff were similar. However, we have found that Dodo is almost continuously doing maintenance on its network, which is all good and well, but it means that our internet goes down for whole days at a time. And when it was just hubby working from home, he would go into the office for the day if they gave us advance notice, which they don't always. Um, however, now that I'm working from home as well, it's really frustrating when the internet disappears. So we've decided that we're happy to pay the extra. Um, it's actually only an extra $11 a month at the moment for the first six months. So Telstra gave us a deal where we get $10 off a month for the first six months of the contract. Um, so yeah, hopefully, we'll, that, hopefully that will give us some more reliable internet. Is the plan. Uh, so that is 526, which leaves us with 689. Our variable expenses this week are takeaway, which we are giving $74. Petrol, which we are giving 100. Uh, chemist is getting 20. And spending is also getting 20, so that's 10 each for me and hubby. And oh, books is getting 21. Now, books is getting $21 because my um, husband is a writer. Uh, he, he, he has written a couple of full-blown novels that aren't published as yet, um, but he has written quite a few short stories and quite a few of those have been published and his most recent one was published this week um so he wasn't gonna buy it he wasn't even gonna buy a copy of it but of course i have to buy a copy of it so it's kind of like in a periodical 
book which they release i think it's quarterly the people who publish it and it's full of short stories um so he's in there so i had to get the physical copy guys how could i not he's like you know it's such a cool achievement so um yeah that's what that is so our variable total is 235 uh and that leaves us with what does that leave us with why have i got a spare dollar i don't have a spare dollar that has to be 20. <laughs> Uh, so 236. No, 234. <laughs> Goodness, 234. And that leaves us with 455. Okay. So our cash sinking funds are getting cash envelopes. I have not split this out, have I? No, I haven't. That's okay, we'll do it now. So they're getting 375 this week. Mini Mondays is getting 30 and Savings Challenges is getting 50. So that totals 455 and that is our zero base budget for this week, um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, unfortunately nothing extra in Mini Mondays this week and Savings Challenges is back down to $50. Um, hopefully we'll be able to add a bit more to them later in the month um i'm hoping but we will just see how we go um yeah i think that's all for this week in brilliant news after my being a little bit upset about the or not upset just kind of frustrated um about my printer dying and having to buy a new one the new one is up and running today i finally got him all set up it is a beastie boy he is chunky um but oh my goodness the prints coming out of it oh my god they're stunning they're so it's so everything's so clear um and the colors are so oh they're so true to what i see on the screen which my old printer didn't really do so much so i'm not gonna lie i'm low-key devastated that the crystal binders that are going out are gonna be prettier than my crystal binder because <laughs> mine was printed on my old printer <laughs> um and the ones that i am printing now are just they look so good, you guys. I'm absolutely stoked with it. I cannot wait to get them out to you. Um, I am getting there. I am getting there. <laughs> the orders are happening. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do this weekend to catch up on what I missed. Um, just giving my daughter loves throughout the week because she was so sick. Um, but yeah, so that's awesome. I'm excited about that. I will do... Um, a little Etsy stuffing. It'll just be a little smidgy one, just a tiny one, just because I want to get some money into the debt binder. Um, and I will do that on Tuesday, I think, because tomorrow is mini Monday. So I will see you guys then. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, so that you know when my videos are coming up. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Have a beautiful Father's Day tomorrow. Um, absolutely, my heart is with anyone who is missing a father figure in their life. Um, I won't be seeing my dad because he's currently residing in a different state. Um, and yeah, if we won't be celebrating tomorrow, we'll postpone it to next week. But I hope you all have a lovely day with your partners or your fathers or whoever it is that you celebrate with. And if you are a mama on your own, happy Father's Day to you too. Um, yeah. All right, you guys have an awesome weekend. I will see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye-bye.